Welcome to Session 5 of our Corel Draw Question Series. I'm Roger Womble, Senior Product Trainer at Corel. In this video, I'll be answering questions submitted by Corel Draw users on a variety of topics. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click on the link in the description below to go to our tutorial page. Here, you can download a written copy of this Q&A session and submit your own questions to be answered in an upcoming video. Let's begin. I have two files that I use to build most of my designs. Is there a way to open two different files at the same time while launching CorelDRAW? If you want CorelDRAW to open a specific file on launch, the easiest way to do this is to create a shortcut on your desktop that launches CorelDRAW and opens the files. Start by identifying the path to the program. Now I'm going to minimize CorelDRAW. I'll right-click on my desktop, select New, Shortcut. In here, I'm going to browse to where the executable is for CorelDRAW. So it's on the main hard drive. I'm going to go to Program Files, then into Corel. Now, I want this for CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2021, so I'll expand this, go into Program 64, and I'm going to locate the CorelDRAW.exe. I'll select that and click OK. Now, to identify the files that I want to open, I'm going to put the path to those files within quote marks. So I'm going to need a space, a quote mark, and for ease, I've put the files on the root of my C drive in a folder called Files. So I'll go C colon backslash files backslash my first file is called 1.cdr end quote space, another quote, and then again the path for the second file, which is c colon backslash files backslash 2.cdr, and then an end quote. I'll click on Next. I can name the shortcut, and let's just call this starting CDR. and I'll click Finish. I now have an icon on my desktop that I can double-click. And when I do that, it's going to launch CorelDRAW 2021. Now that Draw has opened up, it's now going to be opening up the two files. You'll notice that I have file number one, and file number two, and I'm ready to start my design work. Every time I type an email or website address when designing a flyer or graphics, the email font turns blue and is underlined. How can I turn this feature off so that it's treated as normal text? This is true. If I select my text tool, I'll type that address of .corel.com. When I tap the spacebar, that becomes a hyperlink. We want to turn this off. The easiest way to do that is to go to the text menu, down to Writing Tools, select Quick Correct, and in here, I want to deselect Automatically Create Hyperlinks when typing web addresses. I'll deselect that, click OK. And now if I type in an address, CorelDraw.com, I'll tap my spacebar, and you'll notice that it no longer underlines or changes the text blue. Where is the calendar wizard? 
in CorelDRAW 2020? That would depend on which version of CorelDRAW 2020 you're using. If it's CorelDRAW Essentials or CorelDRAW Standard, they do not include VBA, and as such, you're unable to run any scripts. If you have the full version of CorelDRAW Graphics Suite, you will find the Calendar Wizard under Tools, Scripts, Run Script, and in here, under Macros In, in the drop-down, select Calendar Wizard, and then Run. Can you rotate a perspective design and keep the design intact? Perspective objects cannot be rotated as that would destroy the perspective grid. Once you have completed the editing of your perspective group, you can flatten the design and then you'd be able to rotate it. For example, if I select this element, you'll notice that I do not have rotation handles. If I go to my Objects menu, I can go down to Break Perspective Group Apart. Clicking on that, I can now click on my element and I can rotate it. Can the perspective effect be used on raster objects, vector objects, or both? What a great question. The perspective effect can be used on raster or bitmap images. It can also be used on vector objects and even text. With this object selected, which is a raster or bitmap image, I'll go to my objects menu and down to perspective, add perspective. Now I can drag these corner handles into position and give the illusion that this bitmap image is actually on the billboard and it's as simple as that. Now in this example this is a vector object it's a group of 758 objects again from the object menu go down to perspective and then add perspective and it's simply a matter of changing the perspective of this element. How do you create an outline around a clip art image? The easiest way to do that is select your clip art image and then from the object menu, go down to shaping and then to boundary. I've now created an outline around the perimeter. Of course, I can change the size of that outline if I want. I'll make it fairly large and then I can change the color of it by right clicking on it. So very easy to create an outline around a clip art image. I downloaded the subscription upgrade for CorelDRAW 2021 from CorelDRAW 2020. When I try to edit a bitmap in CorelDRAW 2021, CorelDRAW opens Corel Photo Paint 2020 and not 2021. Any suggestions? It is possible that CorelDRAW 2021 is pointing to PhotoPaint 2020. To address this, you would need to do a repair install in 2021. This is done by going into the control panel, Programs and Features, and locate CorelDRAW 2021. Right click on it and select Uninstall Change, and then select Repair Install. Follow the prompts and reboot your system once you're done. This should address the issue. Can you export a workspace from CorelDRAW on a Windows system to be used on a Macintosh version of CorelDRAW? Customization on the Macintosh version of CorelDRAW is somewhat limited. You have the ability to customize the standard toolbar and to modify keyboard shortcuts. You do not have the ability to export this modified workspace or have the ability to import another workspace from a Windows version of CorelDRAW. That brings us to the end of session five. Again, 
If you're watching this video on YouTube, click on the link in the description below to go to our tutorial page. Here, you can download a written copy of this Q&A session and submit your own questions to be answered in an upcoming video.